Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial on how to um, program your animation directly with your Python script without using a Logix brick or an actuator. Um, I will be using Python, obviously, so I'm just going to get started. To start off, double click the A button to select everything and hit X delete, and hit 7 to go in the top view. You spacebar and then add a plane like this. Alright, once we have that, I'm going to rename this to health bar, like this. Okay, with this little health bar, with this plane selected, hit the letter S, then X, and then 6 to scale it at 6 on the X axis. <clears throat> Let's then go from object mode to edit mode down here. Select this face right here. And hit the B key, the, the letter B is in boy, and drag it over like this. And do mesh, snap, cursor to selected. Go back into object mode and do object, transform, origin the 3D cursor. We should see that the health bar scales up like this if we do S and X. Alright, let's now go from defaults to animation and go from Blender Render. Actually, we'll keep it on Blender Render for now. And what we're going to do right here is with our health bar still selected, set the frame to 100, the current keyframe, and hit I and then lock scaling. Then set it to 0 and hit S, X, and 0 like this and hit I, lock scaling. And let's set the start animation to 0. Let's set the end animation to 100. So if we hit play now, we should see the health bar is going to scale up between 1 and 100, like that. Then it'll loop over. You can see though that the animation is not linear, or it's not even. So let's do key, interpolation mode, and then linear. So now we see it's a straight line right there. The animation plays straight like this. <clears throat> okay. Let's then go from animation to game logic, and go from blender render to blender game. With our plane selected, let's add a sensor always, click these first three dots, and do add an actuator, um, add a sensor, sorry, do keyboard, I'll name this a space, and click tap, and put the space bar in there. Let's then add a Python controller like this, connect it. Alright, let's then do templates, Python, and then game logic simple, like this. Delete the portion that I have highlighted. Hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. Rename this to script.py, like this. Okay. First what we're going to do is define our spacebar sensor by doing space is going to equal constant sensors. Space, like that. Then I'm going to add a game property outside. I'm going to call this game property health, like that. And I'll set it to 100. What we're going to do is have if we press the space bar inside of our script, so if space.positive and let's say own health is greater than or equal to 5. What we're going to do is have own health going to minus equal 5. That. Okay. Then underneath this, let's apply the variable name health amount going to be equal to our game property own health. So own health like this. And then underneath it, we're actually going to have it so that our health bar can animate with this health bar property, or with our health bar. So what we're going to do is do own dot play action, and we're going to have these um, quotations in here. And what we're going to do is add five things, different things inside of this, um, inside of um, the parentheses right here. First, what we're going to do is add a string variable of our animation name. So if we go back into our animation, we see it has health bar action as the name of our animation. Let's go back into game logic, and inside of our string, let's put health bar and then action like this. Then what we're going to do is have it so that we'll put the starting position of our animation. I'm just going to put zero for now, and the ending spot will be health amount or whatever the amount of the health is equal to. Then what we're going to do is select the play mode type, and the play mode type is essentially just doing like um. You know, like the looping, the ping pong, or the play, you know, like if, if you were doing um, a normal action actuator, just stuff like that. I want to have a uh, play mode is going to equal bg.logic dot kx action mode and play like that. Let's set the speed, which is the last thing, to 30. 
All right, once we have that, if we were to hit the play button, you should see that our health bar is just doing this. And you may wonder why it's doing that, but that's actually because if you go inside of our script, you'll see it says this, we want the um, we want to play the action from zero to the health amount. So if we were so um, so you'd see right now if I hit play and hit the space bar a couple times, it would be starting to play a little bit smaller, and that's because our health variable is smaller. So what we're gonna do is instead of having it set to zero, the starting amount will be the health amount. So we're gonna have it play from the 100 to the 100. And now you should see that if we hit P to play now, and you click a couple of times, it'll animate the health bar like this. You can see this is how it works. I'm gonna hit this I, and then this game, and then show debug properties. You can see that as we tap down, the health variable is going down as well. All right, guys, so this is how you add action into your script without an action actuator. I hope you guys found this useful. I'll scroll out just a little bit, and there you go.